hello friends so hello friends hope you are doing well the so in today's video we'll be we'll be learning how we can create host based access control so in this video let's start i have created two uh, vms for a client so let me give so the primary requirement in ipa as i said we need to set up static ip address zero one I'm giving gateway will be the gateway but uh, here in DNS I am giving my primary IP server IP address and the secondary one one four one one five search domain will be my lab dot local and ips six I'll ignore then we'll set up a fully qualified domain name in my case IPA node one dot my lab dot local let's take a reboot second vm let's give it a ip chronologically 202 slash 22 ip gateway 1921681.1 one. and dns again i'll use this ip server dns ip server ip and that is one one four and one one five search domain will be my lab dot local again version six configuration will ignore fully qualified domain name IP node two dot my lab dot local. let's take a reboot of this also now uh, guys I'm using CentOS 8 machine for both the IP server and node also but the process is same even if you're using CentOS 7 or uh, maybe if you're using Ubuntu or Debian based machines right so I'm taking remote SSH SSH root at one dot two zero one was my first machine and dot one dot two zero two was my second machine all right so let's start again i'll be enabling the idm appstream module so dnf module install idm dl1 yes dnf module install idm dl1 It will take a little bit time depending on your speed because package count and size are high. Okay. 
let the install complete and finish IPL02 has finished one has also finished that's fine right so next will be to install DNF install IPA client package all right so I am it, it has already installed because I have installed this IDM package right so the command will be IPA client install and then I can take help from help I can use few points like MK home DIR and uh, so that once the user is trying to log in they will get their home directory and the server name ream host name principal all these uh, if I wish I can but otherwise if I'll not supply definitely it is gonna be ask everything right so I'm not giving every option but to home dir mk home dir only so it says that discovery was successful is because I have I've given DNS server name as my IPA servers so it is asking for NTP server pool address uh, so yes let's use it in dot NTP sorry pool dot NTP dot org and it discovered all the settings and then it is asking to proceed with these values and I'm moving ahead. same thing I'll do in my second server right second VM IPA client install hyphen hyphen MK home DIR it will ask for NTP server will say yes will give NTP server name pool dot NTP dot org right next so what I'm going to do is I will create two users one is user one and second will be user two so first I'll try to tell you that both the users may log in uh, by default both users can log in on both the machines so I'll be setting up host base access control so that user one can log in with IPA node 1 and user 2 can log in with only IPA node 2 this will be host base access control it is a feature in Red Hat identity management server right ok so the use these machines have already been uh, joined and now from here you can see that that I have I have enrolled all those those uh, both DVMs you can see over here right so next what I'll do is now I'll create one I'll uh, user so let's move to IPA server I'm creating IPA user IPA user eight hyphen hyphen first user one last name will be user one again and then I'll give hyphen hyphen shell which will be bin bash and the username will be user one so the user has been created now I will be setting up the password for user IPA pass WD user 1 I am giving the password red hat red hat password done second I will create one other user that will be user 2 second name first first name second name and the this right user has been created now I'll be setting up the password for user red hat red hat password has been set now so now user will not be able to log in first of all on the server directly right so let me use first user one 
user1 i am giving the password red hat see it is asking that the password has been expired so user have to change the password so the current password is red hat next password i am giving red hat at 123 red hat at 123 okay now you can see user 1 have been log into ipa node 1 now logging out and i am trying to log in with user 2 on this node first password password yes because it has been created uh, the first user has just been created so password we need to change red hat red hat at 123 red hat at 123 and you can see that both the users are in now right both the users are in in node 1 now i am trying to log in on node 2 user 1 giving the password and logged in right see then user 2 will logged in definitely logged in right so you can see that both user can log in on both the servers now how i will restrict so there it comes host base access control rule so what i'll do is i will run ipa hbac rule at first i'll create one host rule so rule name i am giving is uh, i'll create two host base access control rule Uh, one will be uh, user one node one user one node one user one and one let's say okay and second I am giving user two and two let's say okay so host space access control rule has been created now I'll modify this rule. so that i can tell this rule that which user is uh, for which machine and with which service so now here three options i need to give one is ipa hbac rule right let's do a tap tap and then you will get to know that host base access control rule aid i aid already then i'll aid user then i'll aid host and then i'll aid service right so host base access control rule hbac rule and then i let user here and user is user1 and the rule name so you rule name is user1 n1 right okay let's say it's user1 okay fine so i need to take a help so it says users and groups i need to provide so user is hyphen hyphen users is equal to user 1 fine done so next i'll be adding host and then i can use here host and the host name so what the host name is host name is ipa node1 dot mylab dot local okay fine hosts so this has all also been added now next next will be to aid a service which using which service there that user can be able to log in so it service hyphen hyphen help and then hbc hbac svcs this is i need to supply 
and this is SSH SSH is the service name and then the user 1 n1 is my HPAC rule alright so rule okay HPAC it says SSH T I guess yes it's it's SSH T service name so uh, now rule has been created now I can show you the same rule in identity management where in your policy host space access control rule you can see that I've created user 1 n1 and user 2 n2 so user 1 n1 I have created this rule that who means user 1 can access what can access host this why are using which service why are using SSHD in this way I can create host space access control rule for second server also right so for second server I will be adding user first because rule has already been created so user will be 2 ok then the service the order order can be anything service 2 2 and again service will be same host so host name is two here HPSC rule is two right so that has been done I can check it over here in this page user two who user two user two can log in on this machine using this service but still you will not be able to still both the users will be able to log in why because I have one host space access control rule which is saying allow all so even if you if you will try to log in two on one right red hat it is getting login and if I am trying to log in one it is getting login so a restriction is not working so what I will do is I will disable these rules or if you wish you can delete these rules so now these two rules are in effect okay now I'll tell you this is node 1 and user 1 will be able to log in yep login but user 2 should not be login connection closed but user 2 will be able to log in over here user 2 password to is able to log in but user 1 will not be able to log in over here connection closed so in this way you can set up a host based access control rules that's it for today